In today's video, I'm bringing you guys the best rap age class setup to use here on Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. And now, before we get into the class setup, if you guys are new to the channel and enjoy what you see, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button, also post notifications so you guys also like daily mod free class setup videos. But out of the way, let's go around the class setup. Starting off with Thunder Barrel, I'm the F Tech Tiger Grip. Now, honestly, I don't think I've ever ran this Thunder Barrel on literally any of my class setups prior to this one. I just decided to, you know, give it a little bit of a try, and I honestly wasn't disappointed. Quite honestly, I didn't want to run the F-Tech 56 because I, I feel like that's a pretty common attachment to use, and I just wanted to try something out different, and this gives you, like, the same bonuses as the F-Tech 56 so honestly, it's about, it's, just, like, it's about as the same as it is, so might as well try it out, and honestly, I was not disappointed. Tuning loss side is at a positive 0.28, bottom side is at a negative 0.25. For the muzzle, I'm the Seiken Tread 40 to improve both the vertical and horizontal control. Honestly, this muzzle is probably one of the best muzzles in the entire game to get rid of all recoil on literally any sort of weapon. And honestly, it definitely improves the Rap H's recoil, of course. Tuning, line, or tuning left side is at a positive 0.65. Bottom side is at a positive 0.25. With our barrel, I'm the Mir 76449mm factory barrel, which improves the move speed, aim down, as well as the aim down sight speed. Of course, mostly LMGs are all bulky and slow because that's just a modern war for a realistic feel to the game, apparently. But I kind of want to get away from that little, you know, because I don't play like a slow, bulky player. Like, I'm not pre aim heavy, I'm like aggressive, just like run and gun. So I felt like this barrel was definitely the best. You could try out the lock strike barrel, but I don't know. Those bonuses aren't too appealing to me. You also lose damage range and bolt velocity, whereas here on the this barrel, we're only losing bolt velocity and recoil control, which does not hurt us too much. Tuning left side is at a positive 0.23, bottom side is at a positive 0.22. For the laser, I'm on the FSS or late V laser, which improves the aim and sight speed, aim stability, as well as the sprint to fire speed. Again, this is a great attachment to improve the handling or mobility of literally any weapon in this game. And like I said, I kind of want to get away from the slow, bulky LMG feel, so that's why I have on this laser. Tuning left side is at a negative 0.08, bottom side is at a negative 23.03. And finally for the stock, I'm the MFT mobile stock, which helps with sprint speed, aim lock speed, crouch move speed, as well as aim and sight speed. A ton of mobility and handling bonuses there to, again, get away from the slow bulky feel. And honestly, it made the, this LMG feel very, very good. And honestly, it was definitely faster paced. So obviously our cons here are losing aiming stability. I don't feel like aiming stability is that important in this game, especially when you're like a run and gun player, but losing rate control definitely does hurt. But of course we have the unbarrel on as well as the muzzle. So kind of counter to that. Tuning last side is at a default zero because no matter which way you move it, it literally does not help or hurt or it literally does nothing. So I just left it at default. The bottom side is at a positive one or 1.86. But yeah, that's my Rap H class setup here in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Get you an MG gameplay over on Crown Raceway. So, hope you right, guys do enjoy. Wish you guys a button. I'll see you guys in the gameplay. Peace. All right, all right, all right. We got some hard point here today on Crown. Oh my gosh, Crown Raceway. And we are rocking the Rap H today. One of the, I honestly think the Rap H is a very, very good LMG. I'm dead. Honestly, it's, I don't know. A lot of the LMGs are kind of underrated, honestly. Like, the last good one was probably the RPK. Or not last good one, but the, like, the RPK was definitely the most talked about for a while there. For a long period of time, just because of how good it was in Warzone. The Rap H was also good in Warzone, it just... Didn't have the same, uh, same clout as an RPK, or, yeah, the RPK, though. No way. Oh, my. We're, like, frying, but we just die. Is this guy coming around? He was. He was. I'm a little tired today. I don't know why. I just started, I just started crashing, like, at the end of the day. And... I, I have literally zero reason why. I think I need to become a caffeine addict again. I'm not sure. But I don't know. I don't know if it's really in it. Oh my gosh, doggone's nuts. Going way too crazy. I want to call it really an addiction, though, because I can... An addiction, like, you're addicted, but, like, I can stop drinking caffeine at any point in time. Oh, my gosh. Dog's still going nuts. Unbelievable. 
He definitely senses an MGB yeah. or something. Confirming next hard point. Oh my gosh, they even shut the doors over here? Hey, grief. Oh, rip. Okay, we have a VTOL. But... I literally am not sure where these enemies are. There's the advance. Oh my gosh. Teammate! Oh, teammate got him after I died? Well, we're gonna have to throw this up. The VTOL really isn't that good on Crown Raceway. So, I don't... Oh my gosh. What are these enemies doing? Like, push something, you clowns. Come on. The guy's just been sitting there. Go crazy, Salsa. Come on. Yeah, I don't know why you would slow peek that. Holy. Can we get a reload off? Got another VTOL. I'd like to get another advanced, of course. Oh my gosh. Dogs going crazy today. Tell them to chill out. Oh my gosh, I tried sliding and it literally did not slide. That almost messed me up insanely bad. Another advance. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. We're out of ammo? Throw that on that. Uh oh. Flash both of these clowns. They're still coming. Oh my gosh, we got the MGB though. Dang. We literally just went crazy there. We're already at 63 kills as well. Usually Crown Raceway is like a pretty slow map for me. No, I stopped shooting. I thought the other guy would chow, so I was ready to snap on him. And I stopped shooting at the first guy. Oh, well. See if we can chase down a hundo bomb or something. Maybe. Only five enemies. Oh my, I just get shotgunned? No, why out? One shot by the EBR, crazy. That is wild. I don't even know where they're at now. No way my VTOL's just taking all these kills. I do need it to get me kills, but... Not the kills that I'm already, like, getting. Okay, like, now I'm actually lost. Oh. Full lobby. Literally no idea. I don't even know where to go. Clowns are literally nowhere to be found. UAV should help.
It'd be nice if they spawned a little bit closer to that hard point, so they could possibly get on it, but... Our UAV is orbiting the area. Thank goodness. I think my UAV got shot down or something, because, uh... Dude! Oh my gosh. Okay, another VTOL, but... This hard point's like... Literally all inside. What in the world is this? Might as well call it in. Uh, put it there. Six bullets is all I have. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, it worked. Yeah, no hunter bomb. My teammates are literally all over the hard point. 317, 318 and counting. Oh, teammate, what are you guys... I don't understand. What are they looking at? Oh my gosh. Give me one more. Yes. Dude. We literally had so many kills at like a like halfway, not even halfway, and then we got 20 I think we had like a we had like 63 at like 130. And then we only got like 20 more after that. Unbelievable. Teammate is just soaking up the hard point. 86 and 7 MG built the rap H, baby.